Hi, welcome to PK's classes. Uh, today we will study atropine poisoning. And I, as you know, atropine is an anticholinergic drug. Okay, and in case of any anticholinergic drug, the common side effects are mydriasis, okay, increase in pupil size, then dry mouth because of decrease in secretions, then constipation, okay, due to decrease in J motility, urinary retention, okay, then uh, tachycardia, so these are common symptoms with uh, anticholinergic drugs okay and uh, when poisoning occurs poisoning means when there is overdose of atropine then that will lead to some serious symptoms like dry skin and it will be as dry as bone then there will be flushing of face as red as beet then there will be increase in body temperature hyperpyrexia dry mouth, mydriasis, photophobia, because of mydriasis there will be photophobia as blind as bat. Then there will be slurred speech, difficulty in micturition, restlessness and serious symptoms like confusion, delirium, convulsions, hallucinations. Okay, so, so some CNS toxicity will be there. Then uh, it may lead to cardiovascular collapse, respiratory paralysis, and even may lead to coma. So, how to treat this atropine poisoning? The antidote for this will be a, because it is an anticholinergic drug, the antidote will be a cholinergic drug. And the cholinergic drug, preferred drug is physostigmine. Why physostigmine is preferred? Because it can cross the blood brain barrier. It, it is the only uh, alkaloid, natural alkaloid which can cross the blood brain barrier and uh, can counter these CNS toxicities. So the usual dose is 2 mg intravenous or intramuscular. And uh, for young children, 0.5 mg physostigmine may be given by uh, slow intravenous injection. And uh, to counter the convulsions, uh, we can use anticonvulsions like diazepam. And besides them, we can uh, use the supportive measures uh, like artificial respiration, gastric lavage to clear uh, the content from the GIT and ice bag sponging mainly to counter hyperparexia. Thank you. Thank you.